Coming up in this video, how to make a Tints and Shades Divi audio module. This video is part of a five-part mini-series on how to customize the DV audio module. Before we dive into the tutorial, let me show you what the end result is going to be. So this is the design we're trying to create. So you can see here we have a split screen design on one side, we have the audio module, and on the other side we have a testimonial module. Now the name Tints and Shades comes from the subtle contrast we'll create using simple opacity settings. To achieve this design, you're going to need three assets. First of all, you're going to need a background image of 1920 by 1310 pixels. You're also going to need some CSS code. This code can be found in our blog post, which I'll link in the show notes below. And finally, you're going to need an MP3 audio file. Now make sure it's MP3 because any other format will not work for this. All right, so let's dive in. Let's get started. So here we need to start off by adding a brand new page. So I'm going to go to pages, add new. And the page, I'm just going to call it Audio 4. I'm going to click Use the DV Builder. So the first thing we need to do here is to add the background image. So I'm going to click on the settings of the section and then click on Upload an Image. Now this is the image I'm going to use. So I'm going to set it as a background. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down until we find this custom padding section. Now here we need to make sure that we add zeros throughout. Now this helps make the design seem as if it's on a full page, edge to edge. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save and exit. Next, let's make some changes to the row module. So here we need to make sure that it's set to full width. And also we need to make sure that the gutter width is set to yes. And then we need to just dial it all the way down to one. So what this does is it makes sure that the two columns are pretty much next to each other. There won't be any gaps between them. And then we're going to come here to the custom padding and then we're going to add a zeros throughout here. Now we have one more setting we need to do on the advanced design settings. So I'm going to click on that and then just make sure that um, on the custom margin, we're going to add a zero to the top and also to the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and click save and exit. Now it's time to add the column. So I'm going to add two columns of equal size. Now that we have the two columns in there, we can always go back again and make some more changes. So in here, we need to make sure that equalize column heights is set to yes. So I'm going to go to advanced design settings and then I'm just going to find it here and then click yes. Now the reason why we're doing this is because if we add more information on one of the columns, one of them will seem to be bigger than the other and that doesn't make it look beautiful. Now it's time to add the tints to, our, to the column backgrounds. So I'm going to start off with column one and I'm going to add the value and take a note, I'm adding the RGBA values. We need to do the same on the background of column two. Okay, so now that we have that in place, it's time now to add the actual module. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save and exit. So on this one, I'm going to add the audio module. And now we just need to fill in all this information. So the first thing we need to do here is to upload the audio file. So I'm going to click on upload audio file. I want to click on it and then I'm going to set it as audio for the module. Next, we need to add the title, the artist name and the album name. So on the title, I've got Poto Gold. On the artist's name, I've got the spectrum and also the album name we have somewhere under the rainbow. So on the advanced design settings, what I've done here is I've just changed the title font to a font called Crafty Girls, which you can find here. And then if you scroll all the way down here on the custom margin, I've just added 20 pixels to the top. So once you've done that, go ahead and click on save and exit. Now it's time to add the testimonial module. So here, I'm just going to add it by scrolling all the way down here. So now we need to fill in all this information. So on the author name, I have Dorothy Gale, job title, we have that. And then if I scroll all the way down, this is where you need to add your content. So once you've added this content, this is going to appear on the front end of the website as your testimonial. So what we've done here as well is 
I've changed the text orientation from um, left to center so we can have everything all uh, nice and centered. And also the quote icon we won't need, so I've set that to hidden. And finally, what we need to do is just to change the author name into a different font. So this is the CSS we need to add. So I've just pasted it here. Okay, so let's take a look and see how this is looking so far. So I'm gonna click on the preview icon. So here we can see we have a slight problem. Uh, the text here is way too close to this column. So what we need to do is to add some margin to that. So what we're gonna do here is scroll all the way down here to custom margin, and we're gonna add about 50 pixels around it, just to give it a bit of breathing space. Okay, so we're gonna do another quick preview, and now we can see that's much better. And this will look even better once it's on a larger screen, because this is just a preview. Finally, what we need to do is to change the author's name using this CSS code. So the author's name now is going to have a different font and this font is gonna be called Pacifico. So again, if we do a quick preview, we can see that it looks much, much better because it's just stylized now. So pretty much that's what we need to do here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and exit, click update, and then we're gonna do a quick preview of this page. So there you have it. This is how you make a Tints and Shades DV audio module. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing daily video quick tips similar to what you've seen today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments box below and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.